hi guys welcome back to my channel if you want to know how i achieved this glamorous look today please stay tuned so let's jump right into it so i've already did half my face so that we just can see what i started with and i was also experimenting and i was like oh let's see what we're gonna do so i did prep my entire face so that's why there is a powder underneath already but yes we're gonna use the blue blood sugar collection again today but this is completely all reds this is all 100 going to be towards pride again happy pride everybody as i mentioned earlier in another video that i'm going to do one video for every single color of the pride flag and that's what i'm going to do so today we're going to start off with red and as you can tell i'm like very smoked out right now and i'm just really enjoying it like i've got my entire lid covered no liner just a little bit of mascara and that's what I really wanted to do I really wanted to pop it I was going to do a red brow but then I was like mm, I want this to be an everyday look for everybody too so you can be like oh yeah this is my look today but without further ado let's jump right in so we're going to go ahead and we're going to prime the lid again we're gonna use my Dior same thing I used as my foundation and I just put a little dollop right in the middle just to get it nice and moist. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a nice little dry beauty blender like covered in powder and concealer from me using it already. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to blend it. We're just going to smack it all into my eyelid. And we're also going to even pull it up into my brow bone. So we underneath my brow because we want everything to be popping. We want it all to be... Mm, that's nice and blended in. I did already prep my lips as well, but I did prep my lips with my favorite lip scrub, the Velour Lip Scrub in Blue Raspberry. I did get two diet root beers in my Beautylish box, as you guys seen in another video, and as well as I did get one in a mystery box. So I have three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give one away and then I'm going to maybe sell one or maybe I'll give two away. We'll see. So now that that's primed, we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to pull the blood sugar palette out. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in with, it's so hard to open. We're going in with cherry soda. So what I'm doing is I'm doing my base with cherry soda, my crease with fresh meat. And then I went ahead and I darkened my corner with extraction, but that's at the end. So I actually use this plus the blood sugar mini because I like wisdom, as well as I put blood sugar in my inner corner. Oops, sorry, blood sugar in my inner corner. So my favorite brush that I use right now to complete a, sorry guys, my eyes watering. It's never fun. Sensitive eyes, not fun to do water lines and inner corners, but I do it because I want to look complete in my own eyes, I guess. But yeah, I'm, I'm learning my techniques and stuff. It's getting less and less on the watery eyes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I actually use this little flat brush, as you can tell, I've already have some color on it from my other eye. Um, it is, I'm not 100% sure on what it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be a concealer brush. I'm not sure what brand. It's quite old, and I mean, it's one of my older, oldest brushes, so I love it. It works for me, and that's what I always suggest, so find what works for you. So now we're going to jump right in, and we're going to cover my lid with the cherry soda. So what I'm doing is I'm actually packing it in and I'm starting at the top and then I pack it all the way down and I go a little bit into my crease because I do want like a little bit of blend up there and when I'm up there I can smoke it out and then I pat it all down here. Again I might have to go for a second dip because I really want a harsh pigment. As well to get like my swing I actually outlined it myself and I do that after I pack it all in so that way it's not a heavy amount of pigment on the wing because I want the wing to be more blended and more soft and so what I do for the wing is I go to my corner and then I pull and then I actually bring it right back into my crease and then I check here and I See that it's not where I want it to be, so I pull it up a little bit more and then I pull it in. And then once I have my spot, that's when I can start packing again. Again, this is what I do, everybody has their own techniques. 
this is what I find works for me. Again, as you guys can tell, it's like very like, whew, but this isn't just my base. This is just the shape. So everything's gonna be smoked out. As well as I take whatever's left over of my cherry soda, and as you can see, my water line is a little bit covered. I take my leftovers there and I actually run it on my water line because I don't want anything huge or popping down there. I just want it to give it like a little smudgy, smoked look. That's my favorite thing about makeup is it's all objective, subjective, sorry. So the way I do my makeup is not for everybody. Ooh, I kind of like this one. I'm going to go back over and I'm going to... I have done, I haven't done a red eye like this in forever. Last time I did a red eye like this, it was intense. It was like literally just one shade and it was just smoked out like no tomorrow. It's on my Instagram, it's an older post. I will find it and I will see if I can repost it. It's a beautiful, beautiful image. I really liked it. Um, yeah, go check out my Instagram. Self plug. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use my new fluffy brush from the Sephora collection. It's a nice big fluff. And I'm gonna use that to do my crease. Again, we're doing the crease with fresh meat. So what I do is I coat my brush and then I tap some off because I don't want a crazy amount and I'd rather build than not than have too much. And as you can tell, it's just like, just push that in, you just grab your crease and windshield wipes. Not quite the same, but pretty close. I also drew my brows on after I did this eye, so they're not 100% correct. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what we do. And then I'm going to take cherry soda and I'm gonna blend it up into my crease where I have fresh meat, which fresh meat's a more purpley color. And I just want the two of them to marry and be happy. So once that is done, I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in with blood sugar into my inner corner and so what I do is I just take that and then I pack it into the inner corner here and then I just pull it and then I push it into the lid because also a little bit on the lid as well and that's where you blend it and it gives you that pop in the corner which you're looking for if you're looking for that big pop this corner over here unfortunately is not taking it she's like no I've had it officially like the poor eye is just soaked like she just keeps watering and watering and watering so if i was a plant i would be happy so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go in with the mini blood collection i'm going in with my favorite color wisdom i think every collection i have at least one favorite color the blue blood i want to say it's between blue monday and blue blood honestly i blue monday is just so so pretty and yeah like that's just how it works out is I find there's always one color, color in every collection that I'm just infatuated with and it's just it's always to do with that collection so like the color the collections based around greens I'm gonna find a green that I'm gonna love like green is my favorite color so very hard for me not to like love it like the money honey collection the lip bundle I loved 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 crocodiles here it's, it's still like my go-to when I wear greens so now I'm covering my lid with Wisdom. So I'm just giving it like a nice shimmer. And I'm going up into my crease and then I'm going over back and forth. And yes, so that's why like Wisdom is like my favorite color. It can be used alone. It can be used blended. It's so versatile. It is so me. Like as you can see here, like you've got a little bit of like depth in the corner and that's what we're going to do over here as well but i really wanted to pop my eye with that wisdom color it's such a pretty color it's so pigmented it's so rich it's so red and that's just so pretty so pretty if you guys have not jeffree star still has his blood sugar collection for sale you can even buy just the minis you can buy the mirrors the vault but the collection itself is 260 and that's with the mirror, the lip vault, the red lip vault, the blood sugar, which I'm unsure if it's the anniversary palette coming with it or if it's the original. Because I did hear that the anniversary palette did sell out. So that's a little bit, I don't know. 
but it's definitely worth a try because I mean whether you get the anniversary collection or if you get the basic blood sugar the basic blood sugar is the exact same as this one it's just red which I'm going to try to get <laughs> I'm, I'm that crazy obsessed woman that's just like I want everything Jeffrey and he's got the new line coming out too in the summer I'm pumped he's got the mystery boxes coming this summer I'm even more pumped my family's already informed I'm like I'm pinching my pennies for this I want those boxes like, I'm so obsessed with Jeffree Star, the makeup, the cosmetics. He's just an all around amazing person, I find. This is all a personal opinion. I mean, if you disagree, you disagree. That's completely up to you. I 100% believe that Jeffree is a good person. In the end, at the end of the day, I think everybody's a good person. So enough about my ranting. It's time to go back in and deepen the corner. So we are going to go back in with extraction. I'm going to use that same tiny little not so fluffy brush and we're just going to go in and we're going to deepen that corner. As you can tell a lot of this look has been padding motions because I find it easier to keep the pigments and not have as much fallout as well as I want very minimal transition. I want everything to be beautiful and, and soft and luxurious. And there's so many colors in the blood sugar collection that I have not dived into yet. So I'm just excited to start playing with more and more colors. Like, as we mentioned, there's so much to play with. And I did get some new palettes recently. I've got those coming. Well, for videos. I already have them. <laughs> the video will be posted before this one. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to actually do the highlight in the brow bone, which I'm going into my cavity palette, which again is also my highlight down here. I'm going to use my second favorite candy floss. We all know my favorite is Frozen Prick. And I finally said the name right. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a tiny, tiny little smidge on the brush and then knock most of it off. Cause it's such a high pigmented color and we want it to just blend nicely into the brow bone. We want to give it a nice highlight. And then we're going to pull it down and we're going to blend it. And that cheesy girl that wants it to be, you can't sit with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe off the excess powder here and then we're going to come back we're going to complete the look so I have to finish my contour my highlight and then we're going to do the lips together are we all excited for this be right back okay perfect I'm back I did forget to do the mascara so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do mascara before we jump into the rest of the face so I'm actually going in with my milk kush mascara again today the damn girl I'm will always be a legend to me but lately kush has been just my go-to recently i'm not 100 percent sure why or what but i'm just i'm really into her i think it's because the formula just seems so liquidy and so nice and damn girl is like so thick and i mean i love a good thick lash and it helps give me volume but like this one gives me more of a natural i do tend to blend the two of them together as well so like i'll go in with kush get it all in there and then I'll go ahead and I'll do like a top coat of like damn girl and that's literally like my go-to recently is using both and they're both fantastic like amazing products so I have like such long lashes and they go so far out that I have to like actually like pull and like push like in between so it's gonna be like a split like I just split my eye I don't know it, my lashes are crazy long crazy crazy long and I'm not even wearing falsies today I will be going to work later and I have to I wear glasses at work so I don't really wear my falsies too much when I'm working I do from time to time like when I'm doing a look and I'm like oh these are really cute which I do have a surprise coming so I will be wearing falsies during then but without further ado it's time to contour so again, we're going in with Laguna by NARS. This is, again, like my go-to. I'm not trying to blind you guys, I'm really sorry. This 
has been like my favorite. It's a bronzer, but I use it as a contour. And I love how it's so buildable and like literally that's just all I needed. Because like, as you can tell, it's just a very soft, subtle contour is what I'm going for. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to actually take candy floss again and we're going to do the highlight with it and because that's what I was kind of debating on earlier if I was going to do as a highlight excuse me or as a blush and I'm like no it's going to be a highlight today because I just don't want to wear blush today and I don't have any red highlights and the closest thing to a red is a pink and I'm thinking the pink highlight's really pretty so that's what I'm doing today and again Makeup is very subjective. If you don't like this, that's on you. I love this. This is my favorite. And I mean, every look I do is my favorite. I don't practice these. I actually just go ahead and I just wing it myself. Um, I did forget, I did contour over here, so I will contour over here. A little bit up in there. The camera's probably like blinding it that you can't quite tell, which is perfectly okay. So now everything is done except for the lips. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do the lips. Because I don't contour my nose. I don't believe in contouring my nose. I love my nose. My nose is so pretty. Now back to the lips. <laughs> so as I don't have any red lipsticks or anything by Jeffree Star Red other than the shadows, I am going to be using my Annabelle Red Lip Liner, which is color glam red so I'm gonna line my lips with this and I've only recently became interested in red lipsticks um, I used to not like them at all I was like oh my gosh red no 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 red for me and I'm going to use and these are actually the red products that got me into this <laughs> I'm going to be going in with my liquid lipstick in makeup forever professional this is 401 I'm pretty sure it's literally just called red. When I looked on their website, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lip lip line. So what we're gonna do, but we're gonna line the lips. And red lipstick's always scary to me because it's always so like, uh. So now my lips are lined. I didn't quite go like around my entire lip because I do find like, if I do my entire lip, it looks a little funny. So I'm actually just gonna keep it where I have the lips lined. And what, what I did was I went and I drew my upper lips, drew an X, and then like did my little bows, and then I kissed, and that's where it gave me where my bottom would meet. And it's kind of like I go up to like I've got like a dislocated lip. But this is how what I'm doing, and again, I'm still very much learning, just like everybody else. So please bear with me and feel free to laugh with me. I mean, I'm, I know this, this is not something that's norm or anything like that. I, I do do these things for entertainment. I don't do them because I'm like, oh yes, please love me. No, no, honestly. If it's a serious conversation with you guys, then I will tell you it's a serious conversation. It's like, oh, let's sit down and have a real conversation. Like, no, these are just like sit down and chit chat and you know, Kiki. So I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes and then I'm actually going to go get my setting spray and we're going to set my face and then we're going to go get ready for the day. And today's outfit's obviously going to be a nice little red outfit again because we want to look cute and precious. Be back soon. So I'm back and it's a little bit more dry and so I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to use my Morphe X Jeffree Star setting spray not much left to it maybe nothing left to it but i'm using it to the very last spray so without further ado let's get into it it wasn't much to it and um, i mean i can feel it kind of setting everything in i'm also working from home which is nice so it's going to be a little bit different so i can just catch up if i need to but so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump off camera real quick I'm going to go get changed, get ready for my day, and then I'll be back. See you soon. Hey guys, I'm back. And this is my look today. It's really cute. It's a red romper with like a nice red skirt. So I'm going to see if I can get a little bit higher. 
but yes. So it's really, really cute. I'm really liking this. So this is a skirt, obviously. So it's like a long maxi skirt. On top of the red romper, just to give it a little bit more elegant to it, because I want to look more elegant today, especially with it being like a very dramatic look today. So that's what we're gonna go for. My hair is down at the moment. It will be soon going up into another high pony or like a nice little messy bun with bangs. That seems to be my go-to for work because again, I'm working from home. I like my hair up and out of my face. But yes, until next time, I love you.